ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് എവ്രി ട്വൻറ്റി സെക്കൻഡ്സ് വൺ ഇന്ത്യൻ സഫേഴ്സ് അ ബ്രെയിൻ സ്ട്രോക്ക് ആൻഡ് ദി നമ്പേഴ്സ് ആർ ഇൻക്രീസിങ് അലാമിംഗ്ലി ഡ്യൂ ടു ചേഞ്ചിങ് ലൈഫ് സ്റ്റൈൽസ് അറ്റ് ദിസ് റേറ്റ് അറൗണ്ട് ടു മില്യൺ ഇന്ത്യൻസ് ആർ എഫക്റ്റഡ് ബൈ സ്ട്രോക്ക്സ് എവ്രി ഇയർ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ബോയിൽസ് ഡൗൺ ടു ട്വൻറ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഗ്ലോബൽ സ്ട്രോക്ക് ബേഡൻ ഇൻ അ വേ ഇന്ത്യ ഈസ് നൗ ദി സ്ട്രോക്ക് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓഫ് ദ വേൾഡ് ദോസ് ആർ ഹ്യൂജ് നമ്പേഴ്സ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ബ്രെയിൻ സ്ട്രോക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഹാർട്ട് അറ്റാക്സ് കമ്പൈൻഡ് ആർ ലീഡിങ് കോസസ് ഓഫ് ഡെത്ത് അ ന്യൂ പാൻഡമിക് ഇൻ ഡീഡ് ദി ലൈഫ് ടൈം റിസ്ക് ഓഫ് സ്ട്രോക്ക് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ ഏജ് ഓഫ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ഈസ് വൺ ഇൻ ഫൈവ് ഫോർ വിമൻ ആൻഡ് വൺ ഇൻ സിക്സ് ഫോർ മെൻ ട്രഡീഷണൽ വിസ്ഡം സജസ്റ്റഡ് ദറ്റ് ദ ബ്രെയിൻ സ്ട്രോക്ക് ഇസ് എ ഡിസീസ് ഓഫ് ദി എൽഡർലി അബോ ദ ഏജ് ഓഫ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ബട്ട് എ ന്യൂ ട്രെൻഡ് ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് ഔട്ട് ഫ്രം ഏഷ്യ ആൻഡ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇന്ത്യ വേർ വി സി അ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് യങ്സ്റ്റേഴ്സ് കമ്മിങ് ടു അവർ എമർജൻസി റൂംസ് വിത്ത് സ്ട്രോക്സ് ദിസ് ഈസ് അ വറിങ് ട്രെൻഡ് വൈ സ്ട്രോക്ക് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇൻ യങ്ങർ പീപ്പിൾ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ റിസ്ക് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഹൗ ടു പ്രിവെൻറ്റ് അ സ്ട്രോക്ക് ലെറ്റ്സ് ലേൺ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വെയ്റ്റ് ഇൽ ദ എൻഡ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഐ വിൽ ഗീവ് യു ടിപ്സ് ടു റെക്കഗ്നൈസ് അ സ്ട്രോക്ക് അറ്റ് ദി അർലിയസ്റ്റ് Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Arun Naik from Doclogs channel helping you to have dialogues with your doctor. I'm a neurosurgeon and a health blogger. If you're new to the channel, please please consider hitting that subscribe button. All additional info tips tricks told in this video, I will leave the details in the description box below. If you want, you can check those out. That said, let's have a doclog. Stroke in young is defined as a stroke brain stroke happening under the age of 49. this subset of patients have some unique subset of risk factors due to which they get this stroke in india the average age of patients is 15 years younger compared to that in the west what is a brain stroke friends stroke is a brain disease caused by sudden interruption of blood supply to the brain there are two types of strokes one is due to the blockage of a brain artery by a blood clot or a fat mass this is seen in 85% of all strokes and is called an ischemic stroke in the other 15% of cases a brain artery ruptures which causes brain hemorrhage and we call it a hemorrhagic stroke or a brain hemorrhage now what are the causes of stroke in the young people in the elderly people as i already told you arterial hypertension diabetes smoking and others lead to stroke of course youngster with these long standing risk factors can also get a brain stroke but overall if we see younger individuals run entirely different causes for their stroke it's important to know what causes young strokes i will tell you about seven main causes number 1 heart disease yes people with some types of heart disease like arrhythmias can have brain stroke due to irregular heart beats whenever the heart beats irregularly it causes blood to run little slowly inside the chambers of the heart causing blood clots and these blood clots can then travel to the brain causing brain stroke many of these patients do not know that they have a heart disease and their brain stroke is the first symptom number 2 carotid artery dissection here the carotid artery the artery supplying the brain in the neck is affected mostly due to a neck injury this artery will be internally damaged leading to the blockage of that artery this causes a stroke recently we had seen a 25 years old man coming to our emergency room with sudden onset paralysis while undergoing neck massage for neck pain in a parlor number 3 pregnancy pregnant women can have brain stroke due to various reasons venous stroke hemorrhagic stroke or ischemic stroke all can be seen in pregnancy and childbirth the reason here is arterial hypertension and some puerperal infection number 4 venous stroke 
youngsters suffer from a rare type of stroke happening inside the brain veins here the brain veins get clogged due to many reasons including fever dehydration excess alcohol intake or smoking sometimes a blood clotting disorders in the blood can cause this type of stroke number 5 blood diseases here there is abnormal clotting happening in the blood that causes brain stroke we call it as coagulopathies many of these diseases are genetic inherited diseases often the stroke is the first manifestation of their disease number 6 metabolic birth defects here there will be metabolic abnormalities like hyperlipidemia where there will be very high levels of cholesterol in the blood this high cholesterol gets deposited on the inside wall of the brain arteries and then causes lumen narrowing ultimately leading to a brain stroke number 7 drugs both prescribed and illicit drugs like cocaine may result in brain stroke this is due to usage of unsterile syringes and needles which causes infection inside the veins and arteries and then causes blood clots in addition to these seven unique risk factors which i already told you there are other independent risk factors working in younger patients arterial hypertension diabetes menopause cigarette smoking alcoholic drinks more than 2 per day caffeinated drinks for more than 5 per day these are all seen in some patients now how to identify a brain stroke friends the symptoms of a stroke depend on which part of the brain is affected and how severely it is affected a very severe stroke can cause sudden instantaneous death globally stroke is the third commonest cause of mortality and the fourth leading cause of disease burden in a heart attack either you are living or gone it won't generally make you bedridden or dependent or disabled but in a brain stroke one can go but one who survives there may be residual disabilities like limb paralysis pain blindness behavioral issues physical dependence cognitive decline depression seizures etc stroke in young is very critical because many victims are the sole breadwinners for their families and most of them are at the top of their careers i see many families getting devastated due to the bedridden state of their breadwinners this is indeed really really bad we doctors have devised a mnemonic called fast fast to remember stroke signs in a patient this is for the general public with no medical background now fast the first word f is for face drooping ask the person to smile and see if one side of the face is drooping one side of the face may also be numb and the smile may appear little uneven or asymmetric now a for arm weakness ask the person to raise both arms and see if there is any weakness or numbness on one side one arm drifting downwards is a sign of one sided arm weakness and a stroke now s for speech difficulty listen to their speech or see if they are having trouble speaking speech may be incomprehensible sometimes ask the person to repeat a simple sentence and look for any speech abnormalities now the last the most important t t is for time time is for brain time is brain don't waste time if it is a brain stroke and if you lose time then millions of brain cells die more millions brain cells dying more trouble for the patient time to call the nearest hospital and get treated for the stroke we call it the golden hour stroke window period is about 3 hours friends because within that window period we can effectively treat stroke patients beyond 3 hours direct treatment may be difficult so shift the patient to the nearest stroke ready hospital not the nearest hospital one important sign of a brain stroke is the headache 
any headache happening suddenly and if that headache is very severe and if someone loses consciousness after that is very suspicious of a brain stroke especially brain hemorrhage other signs of a brain stroke may be weakness or paralysis of any part of the body numbness or pins and needle sensation anywhere in the body which happen suddenly trouble walking or loss of balance and incoordination while walking blurred vision dizziness loss of sensation in any part of the body sudden memory loss all these may be signs of a brain stroke friends i have several videos in doclocks channel on treatment of stroke don't miss videos on how to prevent stroke because 80% of stroke can be prevented if you can take precautions kindly click the link somewhere here and watch those with that friends we have come to the end of this video thanks for watching and hope you found this video helpful if you liked it give me a big thumbs up share this video with your near and dear ones to put them also on the positive side of their health if you are new here please please consider hitting that subscribe button hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos as i upload friends if you happen to have any one of your friends or family members with stroke tell us what was the sign and how you proceeded on the treatment go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below let's discuss i'll be back with another equally interesting doc log very soon till then feel awesome live awesome and take good care of your health